to the presentation uh, about the Masters of Marketing uh, in the Faculty of Business and Law at the University of Newcastle. Uh, my name is Dr. Amit Pandit and I'm the Program Convener for the Masters of Marketing. I'm also the Senior Lecturer at, in the Discipline of market, Marketing and Tourism and have been at the University for about eight years now and I've been managing the Masters of Marketing program for the last three years or so. So it's an exciting time for everyone uh, and uh, in regards to the Masters of Marketing are uh, a really good sort of field to be in. Okay, uh, just sort of going through the flow of what the presentation is. So I'll just go through a couple of aspects of what, uh, what the Faculty of Business and Law is and then we sort of go into the master of marketing and off, I'll give you, take you through two aspects which are offered by the business uh, and law faculty. The first one is the master of marketing and the second one is the graduate certificate of marketing and tell you why it's such a good program, especially at uh, the, the Newcastle Business School. And then the final aspect is if you have any questions, answers that you would like to ask, feel, please feel free to ask either you can ask them during the presentation uh, or if you want to wait after the presentation uh, more than happy to answer any questions that you have okay so like i said my name is dr amit pandit i'm the program convener for the masters of marketing and i have been with the marketing and tourism group for the last eight years and i'm a senior lecturer at the university so for those who are not aware where the faculty of business and law is we are now located in new space uh, in uh, the Newcastle CBD and a really exciting new building to be a part of, uh, really high tech, nice rooms. Uh, it basically has all the gadgets, uh, etc. that you want. Uh, we also have what is known as a social media lab that's also come up, uh, one of sort of the innovative aspects of the business in law. And uh, that lab is where and you find a lot of the digital marketing aspects going to be taking place as well. Okay, so I'm not sure uh, where you guys are from. So just to sort of give you a brief overview of Newcastle. I've been in Newcastle for about eight years now and one of my, probably one of my most favorite cities to be in. Uh, lovely beaches, nice, uh, really breathtaking co a coastline, um, lovely weather as well. Um, and it's, again, it's not, it's a last drive from um, Hunter Valley, you're looking at Port Stevens, about uh, an hour and a half drive from Sydney as well. So it's a really nice sort of city, rich in a proud history. Uh, coal and steel has been the focal points of the city's industrial history. However, there's a lot more to Newcastle than just coal and steel. And now it's been seen as one of the most innovative sort of areas. It's one of the beautiful areas to be in. Uh, lots of cultural experiences throughout the Newcastle, as well as in the CBD. So as I mentioned, we are in the CBD. Uh, this is where in our, we have our uh, building. It's called, also called as New Space. Uh, it's, it's been there for a couple of years now. Uh, really nice looking building. It looks uh, really great. And I said, out of all the, the gadgets and all the technology that you want is there in that particular building. Uh, we have a lot of sporting events. We have your Newcastle 500, uh, surfing competition, surf fest, so on and so forth. So it is a city that basically loves the good things in life, uh, whether it's by beaches, surf, whether you want to have a lovely cup of coffee, you have food, drink, live music, so on and so forth. So I can't stop talking about how Newcastle is such a great city to be, to be in. Okay. So just sort of give you uh, an idea of the university at a glance. Uh, won't go too much into what uh, too much detail, but we have around 37,000 students. We have them from about 115 countries. There are about 7,000 and all sort of international students. We are based out in six campuses of uh, uh, Newcastle, Callahan, Newcastle City as well, the Central Coast, Sydney, Port Macquarie, as well as Singapore. Now, the Masters of Marketing is basically offered in the Newcastle City and it is offered online. Um, so it doesn't have any offerings in the other campuses. We are uh, uh, one of the five faculties at the university. So we are the Faculty of Business and Law. Uh, we have alumni in pretty much all around the world and we had around 2,000 and all staff at the university. 
Uh, so one of the reasons why University of Newcastle is such a great uh, university, and especially the Faculty of Business and Law, is because we are have a really rich uh, stream of research coming out of our faculty. Uh, our ERA is uh, that, that, that is the Excellence in Research Australia is is really good, and therefore. And therefore, it is uh, it's one of the more world renowned in in I guess in Australia as well as in the world. Okay, so just to sort of give you an idea about the Faculty of Business and Law. So, faculty is based uh, the Faculty of Business and Law. It's a dynamic learning community, offers sort of real world experiences as well as industry collaboration. Uh, so, for example, one of my colleagues had a collaboration with um, Hunter Water, and she's continuing that collaboration. Me uh, uh, and another colleague of mine, uh, Dr. Rosenberger, we have a collaboration with the Newcastle Jets, where we are carrying out research with the Newcastle Jets in regards to uh, having the uh, understanding of uh, football or soccer, and also understanding why consumers are interested uh, in soccer as well as understanding what makes, uh, what are the things that will drive people to watch soccer as well as in women's soccer as well. So we are located in a new space or, uh, and this is where in our flagship university is in Newcastle CBD. So it is again, the state of the art campus has a, a learning environment such as blended learning as well as collaboration between students and researchers as well as our corporate and our community partners as well. So we are in the top 200 for world and business and business administration. We are in the top 150 for hospitality and tourism management, and we are top uh, 200 in the world management. So a couple of aspects about the Newcastle Business School. So we are student-centered. So a lot of our research that comes on from our, our one of our teaching that is very important for the marketing discipline is that we are student-centered. We have exceptionally high uh, SFCs or SFT as well, uh, that is your uh, teaching and uh, as well as coursework, the student evaluations are exceptionally quite high. We are research driven, a lot of our colleagues within the marketing sub this and the tourism discipline are extremely research driven, have a number of uh, A and A star publications, that is top publications that are coming out of our department. Uh, we do have a lot of industry partnerships with the Hunter Water Corporation, Greater Bank, the uh, Port of Newcastle, uh, as well as the Newcastle Jets as well, where in we are providing the work integrated learning experiences, as well as a number of research collaborations. There are a number of study areas within the business school. Uh, my focus is primarily on marketing. So I am, like I said, the program convener for Masters of Marketing, and that's what I'll be sort of focusing on. However, there are a number of research areas that you can um, uh, that you can look to. Uh, if you are interested, you can try to uh, get an understanding of what the other areas are. So within the postgraduate framework, we have a number of master's program that we are that are being offered at the university. Um, my focus would be primarily on the master's of marketing. So why the Masters of Marketing? So one of the main reasons for Masters of Marketing is because we not only provide you with the marketing knowledge and skills, so we do talk about a lot of the marketing theory, we do talk about the different concepts, the different models, et cetera, but at the same time, it's not only about the, theor the theoretical aspects, it's also about the applications of those different theories to the different concepts, uh, and it's all about understanding how do we take those theories, those concepts, those models, and apply them in various organizations, whether it's not for profit, whether it's government, whether it's for private organizations. It's all about understanding and taking all of your learning throughout those, all those different courses and say, I understand these different concepts, I understand these different models, and therefore, can I take these models, these concepts, and apply them in the real world? And that is a lot of what our focus with the Masters of Marketing is. A lot of our assessments, a lot of our teaching is the focused on the not only the understanding of the theories, those different concepts, etc., but it is the application of those theories which is very important. And that's what a lot of students are quite interested in, 
It's the understanding of the actual application of those theories and the concepts. And a lot of our assessments focus on that aspect. So for example, one of our courses that we teach is GSBS 6005, which is your marketing management and principle, one of our more, uh, which is the core marketing course. So this is one of the courses that you have to take up when you start with your master's in marketing. Now, one of the assessments that we have is we ask you to examine a particular organization in a particular marketplace and understand the, what are the factors that have an impact on the organization? What are the factors that you need to think about? How do you create a marketing plan for that, for that particular organization if it were to operate in that single geographic marketplace? So therefore, and this is where it, we are asking students to go out, research that organization, research the marketplace, research aspects surrounding that organization, and then try to create a really a, a coherent, cohesive, uh, research intensive marketing plan such that one, if they are, once they graduate from that, they can basically say that, yes, we did create a marketing plan. And these are the factors that will have an impact on the organization. So the program is very comprehensive. It's very contemporary. We are constantly reviewing the material every year. Uh, we have meetings about the course reviews, et cetera, just to ensure that whatever material that we are putting out is comprehensive, it's contem contemporary, and it's practical. So through that, through our course reviews, what we are doing is we are coming up with the uh, with material that is up to date uh, and allows you to sort of understand what is happening in the marketing environment as of today. What are the things, what are the different aspects surrounding an organization that, uh, that is operating in the current marketplace? And through that, and through that process, you are then developing your expertise in the whole in the not only the processes, but the application of modern marketing. Now, the second question is, where can you study the Masters of Marketing? So the Masters of Marketing is offered in, in uh, via two aspects. The first one is the face-to-face -face at the Newcastle City Precinct. You can also look at it as, uh, from an online aspect. The, the one thing that you need to be sort of aware of is the way uh, teaching takes place at the Newcastle City Precinct it is quite different to the one offered online. So the Newcastle City Precinct would be a lot more collaborative because it is a face-to-face. -face. So you have that interaction with your, uh, with your lecturer or your course coordinator. You have a lot of interactions and engagement with other students because you are sitting with them and you have those conversations. Online, on the other hand, is much more flexible. It allows you to study at your own pace. So that would be the, big, the, the major advantage of studying online. It's a flexibility. It's a, the, the fact that uh, we know that you're busy, and then you would like to study at your own pace and therefore online offers you that advantage of studying online. So with the Newcastle City Precinct, the advantage is it's all about engagement, it's all about collaboration and having that chat or a coffee with your fellow group members. With online, it's all about the flexibility aspect. It's about you study at your own pace. You have, uh, you have complete sort of uh, flexibility in regards to when do you want to study, how do you want to study, and you choose the method which suits you. You choose the study method that suits you. You also have a, 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 a way in which you can finish your master's in marketing through a combination of two. So for some courses, you can focus on the Newcastle City Precinct, while others you focus on the online. So it can be a combination of the two, depending again on your uh, routine, your flexibility, your work commitments, so on and so forth. So therefore, through that, it allows you to balance your professional and your personal life quite easily. At the same time, you can study at your own pace, study at a time that suits you. Now, one of the major advantages of studying Masters of Marketing at our business school is that we are uh, accredited by the Australian Marketing Institute. So that is something that has been uh, provided for the Masters of Marketing pretty much. Okay, so uh, some of the fun facts of studying at Master's of Marketing. So you can complete your Master's of Marketing if, should you choose, uh, 1.5 years if you're studying full time. Um, so therefore, in this case, what you will do is you'll be taking three, three courses per trimester and one, after one and a half year, you pretty much finish your courses. You can study, as I mentioned, you can study it both in 
Newcastle City in the precinct in new space, or you can study it online. Uh, we have intakes in at uh, the three trimesters, which is your February, May, and September. So at the beginning of each trimester, we have those intakes. Uh, you do have an English proficiency if you're an international student. You have to ensure that you have that English language proficiency, which is ILTS is 6.5 and the minimum is 6.0. Uh, we are the top eight in Australia for business administration. Again, as I mentioned, we are the world top 200 for business and economics and the world top 150 for business administration as well. So these are some of the new fun facts about the Masters of Marketing. Okay, so in order to complete your Masters of Marketing, uh, you have to complete 120 units. Uh, so there's basically 10 units is one course. Okay, um, so you have what is, we have a combination of basically three aspects. So we have what is known as the core units, and I'll tell you what the core units are. You have courses which are called as directed courses. Now these are or 20 units, or basically there are two courses, and you have your elective courses, which is again 20 units, which are again two courses. Now the directed and elective courses are courses that you choose based on your uh, interest. So you have a, a particular set of courses that you choose depending on what you, uh, which can be uh, HRM or it can be managing under uncertainty, organizational behavior, so on and so forth. So these are courses that you can choose uh, depending on your interest, depending on what you like, depending on your flexibility, depending on whether you want to complete it online or face to face so on and so forth. So there's a variety of reasons as to why you might choose one course versus the other. But with directed courses, you have two, 20 units of two courses. With elective unit courses, you have the 20 units of two courses. Now, to complete the Master of Marketing, you have to finish your core courses, which is 80 units. Now, we also have what is known as the RPL, so Recognition of Prior Learning. So essentially what that means is you do get credit for a number of courses should you basically meet the criteria for recognition of prior learning. So when you are applying or making that application, it might be useful for you to include your, uh, your CV, your work experience, uh, et cetera, that may basically, may, uh, that may give you eligibility for RPL. So this is something that you might want to discuss with your admissions officer or your enrollment officer once you're making that, when you're making that application and whether you are actually eligible for RPL. Depending on whether you're eligible of, for RPL or not, the number of courses that you might have to complete to, or for your master's marketing, that may go down. Now, uh, we have what is known as a capstone course. So capstone course is a course that has to be completed no matter what. And generally, uh, that capstone course is done at the end of the program. So this is where in you have completed pretty much the 70 units, core units, you've completed uh, the directed courses, 20 units, or possibly the elective courses of 20 units, and then your capstone course, which is your marketing research and practice, that is something that you will be completing at the end of the program. Uh, the maximum time to complete the master's of marketing is five years. Uh, we recommend that you finish your master's of marketing in uh, uh, five trimesters. So that way you are ensuring that you have momentum, you're not taking a break, uh, and you are able to complete your master's marketing pretty quickly. Now, it all depends on whether you're an international or a local student. So uh, international students, you do have to keep in mind that you have to maintain or you have to meet the conditions of your student visas. And therefore, again, this is something that you have to discuss with your admissions officer to ensure that you are meeting all of the conditions when it comes to your student visa. Uh, we have what is known as a program plan. So in order to essentially complete your master's of marketing and get that degree, you have to only take up courses that are listed in the program plan. And I will let you know what that program plan is in the next slide. If students, as students, you're not permitted to select courses outside of the degree program, because that would not sort of work towards your degree or completion. All right, so the question would be, uh, what sort of courses do I need to complete? So as I mentioned, you have what is known as the core or the compulsive courses. OK, 
Okay, so your core courses are eight units and you have a number of courses that you have to complete. Your 6505, which is your marketing research and practice, as well as your 6401, which is your global marketing strategy and planning, those are considered to be sort of capstone courses. And we always recommend that you complete these two courses towards the end of the program. The, you start off your degree program with a GSBS 6005, which is your marketing management and planning. So that is your core course, and that is your first course that you pick up when you start pretty much any of your marketing programs. So the marketing management and the planning is one of the most basic courses, which gives you a really good overview of what marketing is. So therefore you get an idea about what marketing is, what are the principles of marketing, what are the theor different theories, concepts, models, et cetera, of what marketing is, because then that you use that information in order and you will be feeding that into all of the other courses such as customer behavior, digital marketing, services marketing, etc. So you will need that 6005, six you'll need the information in, uh, in, or if, in terms of sort of using that information and completing the other courses. You have a number of directed courses as well and this is where you have flexibility. So you can complete 20 units of two courses from any of the list that is provided. So it can be managing uncertainty, globalization, human resource management, leadership, so on and so forth. So this is where you have flexibility, you are uh, based on your interest um, and based on other factors, you have to choose two 20 units to, uh, and again, like I said, a lot depends on your interest. You also have to complete, uh, you also have to look at elective courses at the 6,000 level, there are 20 units that you have to complete. Now, again, there is a list of courses that you can complete. And again, please do have a look at the handbook for what for those list of courses. Okay. Okay. Now, if you feel that the master of the marketing is something that you are not sure of, that you feel that it might be a bit too much, we also offer the graduate certificate of marketing, which is a pathway into the master of marketing. So the graduate certificate is a slightly smaller sort of uh, uh, certificate of marketing. Right? It's a slightly smaller, uh, it's my slightly smaller uh, degree program. So this is where in uh, this, the same principles are, are being followed. So this is where in we are still trying to give you uh, the marketing skills and the management skills. So it's, this is like a taster menu for the graduate certificate of marketing. It's all about just giving you uh, a small flavor of what can you expect in your marketing courses. Um, the idea is the same, however. The idea is we are still looking at the different marketing principles, the theories, those concepts, and we are still taking those theories and concepts and applying them in the real world. It's all about understanding consumers, their decision-making, their behaviors. Uh, it's all understanding the principles of marketing. So this is where in you just get a taste of what marketing is and hopefully, once you do enjoy this course, which I'm pretty sure you will, uh, this provides you with a pathway into the Master's of Marketing program. The really good bit about getting a graduate certificate of marketing is you can use the credit from this course, which will are towards your Master's of Marketing. So your graduate certificate of marketing is consists of four courses, and you can use those four courses to, uh, in terms of credit to complete your Master's of Marketing. And you have a, a basically the flexibility as well. So we provide you with one course from a list of directed courses, such as digital marketing, brand development, uh, MC, et cetera. Depending on your interest, you can choose that, uh, that particular directed course towards your graduate certificate of marketing. So again, just sort of to, or to cap or to summarize, the graduate certificate of marketing it will give you a, a nice flavor of what marketing is, the mark aspects of marketing, uh, and this gives you an understanding of consumer behavior, decision making, so on and so forth. You have the choice or the flexibility to choose another sort of directed course with, within, wherein it's all about digital marketing, brand development, IMC, etc. Some really cool, interesting uh, courses to choose from. And the idea is just to give you that flavor, that little tasting of what marketing is all about. And as I mentioned, the, the really good thing about getting a graduate certificate of marketing it is a pathway to the master's of marketing. You can use the credit from these courses in for your master's of marketing. 
So assuming that you are interested in a graduate certificate in marketing, what, what are you going to be studying? So the duration is simply, it's just 0.5 years full-time or part-time for three years maximum. Okay, so you can pretty much complete your graduate certificate of marketing in about two trimesters. You still have the option of the Newcastle City as well as the online. So again, you can choose a combination of both, whether it's city or online. It is still trimester based, so uh, you can uh, pay again. It's the same intake as in February. Uh, it's in, I think it's in August and in September. So uh, it's still going to be trimester based. And again, if you are an international student, you do have to meet the IELTS conditions. All right, so that just gives you an idea about what are the, some other, again, the fun facts of the graduate certificate of marketing. All right, so when you are studying the graduate certificate of marketing, um, you have to complete core courses of 30 units, that is three courses, and directed course of 10 units. Now, uh, so essentially, uh, you would be completing 40 units to get that graduate certificate of marketing. These 40 units you can take forward and use it to complete your master's of marketing. Now the core courses are something that you have to complete and the directed courses again is based on your flexibility and your interests. You can complete your graduate certificate in two trimesters or part-time equivalent. Again, the maximum time that you would take to complete this program is three years depending on whether you are an international student or a local student. So again, with international students, it is, uh, it's extremely important that you meet the conditions of your international student visas. So please ensure that you have that conversation with your admissions officer in regards to your, uh, what are the conditions of your student visas. And again, at, similar to what the Masters of Marketing is, you need to uh, follow the program plan. Okay, so what are the compulsory courses? So in this case, you have three courses that you are, the, what are known as the core courses, the compulsory courses managing uncertainty, uh, marketing management and planning, and customer behavior. Those would be the core courses. And then you have five courses where, which will be considered as directed courses. So you have digital marketing, something that's really upcoming kind of field, integrated marketing uh, or IMC, services marketing, brand development, and marketing research and practice. As you, as you can notice, a lot of these courses are a part of the Masters of Marketing. So you can take these courses and use them as credit uh, to complete your master's of marketing. Um, and again, a lot depends on how you wish to, whether you are going to be uh, going to Newcastle to study your courses or you're going to study online. Again, there's a lot of flexibility from that particular perspective. Okay, so one of the really cool things about Masters of Marketing as well as a Graduate Certificate of Marketing is a lot of our projects are based on real organizations and companies. So uh, it's a component of what is known as a WIL or the Work Integrated Learning. In a lot of the courses that you find for in our and the assessments that you that you will be doing for the Masters of Marketing as well as for the Graduate Certificate of Marketing is that they will be based on real companies, real organizations. And therefore, you will be applying those theories, those concepts, those models, et cetera. You will be applying them in, to real world companies, real organizations. And therefore, the, therefore we sort of meet the uh, threshold for work integrated learning. And the idea, again, for, uh, in a lot of our assessments is not only just to teach you the theory of what the marketing principles are, not only to teach you what the concepts of marketing are, it's taking those concepts, taking those theories, those models, and actually applying them in the real world. And that's extremely important because we understand that a lot of students want to understand not only the theory, but also the actual application. So therefore, you, what you'll find in a lot of courses that we do, that the, all the assessments are a component of the work integrated learning. And like I said, the idea is you take whatever we have learned in that course, and you actually apply them in in terms of the real world, in terms of real companies, uh, real organizations, uh, real, let's say single market or uh, geographic marketplaces, you will be taking them and applying those different concepts, those theories, those models. And therefore we do meet the threshold 
for a lot of courses in, our, in terms of assessments for work integrated learning. So as I mentioned before, uh, our uh, uh, Newcastle Business School is AACSB uh, has that uh, accreditation as well as our Masters in Marketing has the Australian Marketing Institute, it's an accredited course. So that is our very distinct point of difference as compared to the other courses out there in the marketplace. And that offers, basically uh, tells us that we need to be always up to date, we need to be modern, we need to be contemporary, um, and ensuring that the students are getting the best experience out of studying at our uh, business school. Uh, they understand that whatever they're learning is up to date. Uh, it's what is actually happening in the real world at the current moment. And that is important for a lot of our uh, uh, lectures, a lot of our course coordinators, and we ensure that our, whatever we are teaching, whatever coursework, whatever material that we are actually putting forward, it's actually up to date. We are also really big on experiences. We want to ensure that as students, you have the best sort of experience. Uh, uh, and, and hopefully, because you have that best kind of experience and the really positive experience, we are hoping that you speak to other people and get them on board as well. All right, so these are the different ways in which you can connect with us.